Hey, Joy, is there anything you want to say? Hey, Nicole, I am happy that Mobile Geek stopped by to see me. Oh. Okay, the, that's the idea of being able to do personality or customization, right? So to give you an idea, we know that there's a Starbucks venue right up here. So what we did when we got here is we went ahead and said to add in, hey, Joy, coffee, please. There is a Starbucks location across the conference center right down that hall. They might teach you deep brewing. Hey, Joy. How do you like Build? I am excited about being at Build for the first time. Maybe I will get to see Scott Guthrie before I leave. Hey, Joy. What is the meaning of life? Actually, it's for you humans to find that out. But to me, it's your driving pleasure. So this is an example of using like Q&A Maker, which is something that we have packaged up and you can make it say and do whatever you want. And you saw how quick I could program the car to, to be able to do that. So this is all live. There's one thing about like if you notice a little slight delay, that's because we're doing this on live public LTE with 6000 people inside right. of a conference room, which is absolutely the worst possible combination you can do. Um, but to give you an idea, we also we were talked about before where we were publishing skills that we uh, we made as microsoft and then give away as in open source to be able to allow people to bring experiences in that they can kind of extend so an example there would be i can say something to it like hey joy what's on my schedule on wednesday it looks like you have 11 events planned for wednesday the first event is with alex wilbur at 7 a.m titled sprint planning call the last event of wednesday is at 5 p.m. with Alex Wilbur titled Production Skill Meeting. So what you're seeing here is an adaptive card. So we're sending that through just like if you're going to any type of chatbot. You can see all this information. This was all provided by us. And so now you have a full visual that can go with it that's different than the talk track. And that's been adapted to work in a BMW itself. Thank yep. you so much. You guys feel free. Thank you. And so the other things that we can do, and this is a live Office 365 environment. What's on my to-do list? Your latest tasks are write code. Get pizza and take a selfie with Satya. And just to show you, this is the Microsoft to-do with the take a selfie and write code. And if I wanted to, I can say, hey, Joy, remind me to call my mom. I have added call my mom to your to-do list. You have four items on your to-do list. Uh, a couple other things was what we showed on stage, which I'm going to kind of show you a little bit different angle of it, because mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass more information. So if you don't answer questions or if you give more information or less information, what we do is whatever you said, we pass it in so that you don't have to ask those questions again. So uh, if I were to say, hey, Joy, schedule an oil change at 4 p.m., your dealership offers multiple services for oil. The first suggestion is engine oil service. Do you want to select this service? Yeah, that one's great. Do you want to book another service as well? No, thank you. I will give you an overview of the earliest available slots at the dealership. All right, I found an available slot. The option is on Tuesday, May 7th at 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Do you want to select this appointment? Yeah, that looks great. Thank you for confirming. I'm sending through your request to the dealership. So this goes back to the natural language component of it. So I, it understands the intent of what I said, not just what I say. So passing in, you realize I gave it the sentence and it got the tomorrow and to the date. It got the 4 p.m. It got the all uh, that I was wanting and all of that. And it's the same way that we were doing other things. Just like I can say, hey, Joy, send an email to Alex. Okay, I have found Alex Wilbur, Alex W at contazok.onmicrosoft.com. Do you want to include this contact? If this is not the Alex Wilbur you were looking for, we can try again. If you pay attention, I just said Alex. What we're doing is they're actually pulling back against the, the graph, which is part of our skill that we've provided, where we pull back the graph, we figure out what Alex you've been working with, and that's how we present it. We don't pull every Alex in the entire address list. We actually just pull the ones that have been recently uh, working with to make those prioritized. And then if you wanted someone else, you could give more context. 
So these are kind of the things that we've been working on.